Roll that beautiful bean footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bean footage. Bean footage. Bean footage. Bean footage. Bean footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the stream. So glad you could join me tonight for Retro Adventure Wednesday. It's me, your old pal, Decaf Jedi, BMX legend, and uh, retro game aficionado. And tonight we're here with a special treat. Uh, this isn't the first time I've attempted to stream this game. Longtime viewers will know that way back in Decaf Jedi year one, I attempted to stream this game and had all kinds of technical difficulties. Honestly, I just had such an off night myself. I streamed like an hour and a half of it and then memory hold the VOD forever and pretend like it didn't happen. But now, but now I'm back because now it's year four. I'm getting good and I'm ready to do this thing. We're going to jump right back in tonight. We were playing Warcraft Adventures, Lord of the Clans, the point and click adventure game that Blizzard developed between 1996 and 1998, eventually canceling it, uh, deciding it wasn't the project that they wanted to put out there that uh, the industry had changed as adventure games were less popular it uh questions about quality were there as part of this discussion too but regardless they axed this game and then a few years back it leaked and then since then fans have done a lot of work to restore lost content and what we have now is a pretty decent like not far from complete version of Warcraft Adventures from what I understand. So I'm excited to jump into this. I'm excited to give it a try uh, and see where it goes. So welcome in everybody. Good to see you all. Hey, there's Kevin. Howdy, Kevin. Living Run, Shy Moth Boy. Howdy, Nathan, Mike, Clil, Ricky. Good to see you. Zach Maddock. Uh, yeah, cancel. It doesn't sound like uh, Blizzard. Yeah, it's right there beside StarCraft uh, Ghost and uh, what was it? Project Titan? Is that what eventually became Overwatch? Uh, I don't even remember anymore. They all blend together at this point. But this one's always been one I was curious about. I saw it in magazines back in like 96, 97. And needless to say, as an adventure game fan, someone who early on in its history was quite a Warcraft fan, it seemed like exactly the kind of game uh, that I wanted to play. When I heard that Animation Magic worked on this, you know, Animation Magic, you can't argue with their resume. They did the animation for the CDI Zelda games. They did the animation for King's Quest VII. And they did the animation for this game. I mean, those are all across the board uh, winners. So, I mean, you know something good's coming up to that. Not streaming Diablo 4. No. Um, you know, I, Diablo is fine. I've played all of them. It's not my not my favorite character slash. And, and a Zug Zug to you too. Zug Zug. <laughs> Good to see you. All right. Ooh, Kevin, you played a demo of StarCraft uh, Ghost at E3. How was it? Tell us all about it in the chat. I think we should just jump right into this thing. I think we should make this happen. Uh, there we go. Uh, that looks like the screen I wanted to see. So let's see if we can actually launch the game and get this uh, bad boy going. Hmm. 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 Why in the world have I not seen my thing? Okay, there it is. All right. We're going to launch this and give it a try. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It turns out sometimes the unreleased games from the mid-1990s running on a Windows 10 computer. You know, it can be a little bit finicky, but we'll see what we get here. Uh-oh. Wow, look at this low intensity fight. Well, it got higher intensity. They're laughing right in my face. 
you see those two orcs turn and laugh at us? How very dare they. Baby Grayson. Twenty-two years have passed since Blackmoor found the young Orkling. Three great wars between the Human Alliance and the Orkish invaders have laid waste to the once proud realms of Azeroth. Secretly raising the Orkling within the confines of his prison fortress, Durnhold, Durnhold. Blackmoor planned to mold the Orkling into the perfect warrior. A warrior conditioned to human thinking, but with all the savagery of an orcish heart. Yeah. With such a creature under his control, Blackmoor hoped to manipulate the orcish horde hey, and Nuka. use it to seize control over the human nations of Azeroth. Thrall, have I taught you nothing in all these years? Are you not to stand? when your betters enter the room. This Blackmore guy seems like a real jerk. What have you learned today? Uh, only that I live to serve you and the Alliance, Lord Blackmore. <laughs> a wise response. You are learning. Indeed, you've learned much of the world, Thrall. Yet you've never stepped outside the prison's walls. Perhaps the time has come to make better use of you. Hey, Brian, that was good to see Follow you. Me, Thanks for coming in. There's something I'd like to show you. Yeah, we have Clancy Brown as Thrall. Do you Television's Lex Luthor. Thrall. It is an orc like yourself. And what are orcs, Thrall? They are the enemies of the Alliance, Lord Blackmore. Very good, Thrall. And what do we do with enemies of the Alliance? Oh, we no. destroy them, so that they may no longer pose a threat to the Alliance. Then deal with this wretch as it deserves. Big scroll energy here. Oh no. Thrall, don't do it. Thrall, you're better I than can't this. do it. You will do it. It's a pity. All these years of training and conditioning gone to waste. I could have achieved so much. I should have remembered that after all, you are just an animal. I wish Blackmore wasn't so racist. Get his ass thrall. Oh no, man at arms dragged us off. A ram man, maybe. His execution shall commence at first light. And bring someone in here to clean up this mess. Well, there you have it. The lieutenant is having me executed at dawn. There's got to be some way to get out of this cell. So the energy that I get from that was less 80 if I don't or escape soon I'll be about a foot shorter I get less 90s cartoon and really get some vibes of the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon from the 80s that's what this hanging corpse is up to how's the interface work here oh we hold it down I don't like the looks of this yeah it's a corpse that can't taste good hmm hmm oh, oh. hey here's a great hot spot toilet hole Welcome to the toilet hall. Maybe later. Eat the toilet hall. Eat the toilet hall. Uh, no. It tasted just fine the first time. <laughs> this game was very close to finished. I mean, fans haven't had to do a ton on it. Tongue on the toilet hall. I right, got you, Curious Lache. Don't worry. Nasty. Very nasty. Rat hole. Toilet hole or rat hole? Tag yourself. I'm toilet hole. Oh, man. 
Like, that's probably a missing sound effect, right? Nuh-uh. <laughs> that's right, nuh-uh, big time. Hmm, an old sock, you say. Still has all the holes. Ah, someone's missing left sock. I'll take that. Okay. Is that a candle? No, it's a scroll. Okay. Taste, look, interact. Gee, that's all you need. What more is there? Watch this. <laughs> There's a debug mode that tells you all the interactable items in the uh, in the room. How handy is that? I see nothing special. Yeah, the cutscenes are where fans went back and did a lot of the work. A lot of them were incomplete or not fully animated. Yeah, you're exactly right, Zach. It's like how a chef rolls out their knives all uh, all fancy like. Oh man, there's a guillotine right there. What's all the noise, you overgrown maggot? What's all this then? Ooh, feeling a little restless before the big show, slave. <laughs> well, it's understandable, you being a guest of honor and all. <laughs> but until they come for you... <laughs> QUIET! Just relax. Before the hour's up, you'll have a great weight off your shoulders. <laughs> oh, really? Your head! <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, beads. Oh, we're taking bets on which way your head will roll. But do me a favor, mate. Pull to the right a bit, would you? <laughs> gotcha, big gotcha. All right, joke's on you. I've got a rock now. Okay. It would take a lot of force to make it work. A lot of force, eh? Oh, wait, I've got a strategy. Like most adventure game puzzles, what if this is a rhyming puzzle? What if we use Rock on Sock, Mick Foley, Dwayne Johnson style, and then we use Rock Sock on Lock? Rock and Sock. Here's the Rock and Sock connection. And we'll just... Rock sock the lock. I heard that maggot. Now quiet down. <laughs> there you have it. I'm unstoppable. Unstoppable. Let's eat this guillotine. <laughs> Charles ain't going to entertain that idea. I don't like the looks of this. You know, I don't like the looks of this guillotine that's being that's going to be used to kill me. I guess we'll go through this door since that door has the guy behind it. <laughs> hey, OSU. Hmm. All kinds of interesting things in here. A mop. Just a regular one, not a golden one. Welcome in, everybody, by the way. So glad you could be here. If anyone's joining us for the first time, I welcome in. I would love to, but I can't reach it. I'm Decaf Jedi. Jess, love to stream these uh, retro games. Do it every Wednesday. Glad you could be here. The Doctor of Seuss. I wish I was. I'd like to have a doctorate as a masseuse as well. That would be kind of fun. Oh wow, I got a crate. Just picked up that crate. And look over here's a barrel. Ah, Nukem, how did I get this? This is a great question. Um, this was leaked a few years back and is floating around all over the web right now. Um, one good place to find it is on... Did that save? Yes. 
<laughs> I think this is a placeholder sound. You can find it on archive.org. Um, there are some other sites that if you escape proof windows, pretty funny. Uh, there's some other sites that have installers put together for it. Uh, nah. Yeah, Crate on Great would be good. I mean, do I just literally leave now? Uh, this doesn't look good. Guess I'll just uh, stroll out here. Hey! Did you see that? Oh, see what? You seeing things again? I can smell a dwarf spirit on your breath from here. Yeah, well, everyone's got to be good at something, right? <laughs> I seen what I seen. Yeah, this is playable start to finish. This doesn't look like an alliance uh, barracks. I like what you're how you're dropping that one, Nathan. I'm trying to remember, like, I spent time at Dernhold in World of Warcraft. I'm trying to remember if any of this is reminiscent of that. Like, I don't remember enough of Dernhold, because if I recall, Dernhold's like a pretty low level re uh, region, right? Like you go there pretty early in the game if you're playing Alliance, probably. Isn't it near Westfall? God, it's been so long since I've played. I actually know the solution to this puzzle because it's pretty funny. <laughs> I remember it from the last time I played. I'd be really afraid that might somehow lock behind me. All right, so we're gonna get a dried out mop. Disgusting, slimy mop. Oh man, it's got orc pee all over it now. What are you doing, Thrall? So that little slippery spot is our clue. I said quiet. Now get that through your head. Or get this through it. Your choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Brownoplasty. I've been prepared by Space Quest for mop related puzzles. And Thrall hates this guy. Yeah, just open it up, Thrall. There you go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cover the stairs in our own urine, as one does. This is a classic stair quest maneuver. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, here we go. This is important. Everyone, for a moment, let's pause our game. Uh, because we have an important redemption in the chat. This is one of our favorite redemptions. Yeah, if you're here for the first time, you're in for a ride. Uh, this is artificial intelligence. This is where we plug a prompt into the mid-journey AI art robot, and then we let it generate the art we've requested, and then I share it live on stream. And we have a great prompt tonight from our old pal, Turtle Tomorrow, Grayson. Grayson has requested a far side cartoon about a Warcraft orc trapped in jail. And let's see what mid-journey can do with this, because this is promising. And once this is done generating, I will, oh no, Grayson, Grayson. It will not let me use the word jail. Mid-journey has said jail is a banned word. Oh no, mid-journey, yeah, I'll, I'll go British on it. Uh, there's no chance that an AI could possibly understand that bizarre uh, spelling of jail. Um, I'm guessing that's so people don't generate images of politicians in jail. That's the only reason I can think of why that would be. But yeah, let's see if it's... Oh, it did not see that coming, Grayson. It's like, oh, whatever you say. Um, so here we go. It's gonna fall for it. So yeah, here it comes, here it comes. In just a few short seconds, we will share this AI-generated Farside cartoon about a Warcraft orc trapped in jail. They're already in full color, so it seems like it's off to a bad start. We're at 15%, it's generating, it's generating. Hey, shark. Bam puffy jackets, that's right. I wish now that I hadn't converted to Catholicism because of that image, only to find out that it was fake. Uh, I, like, talk about egg, 
and communion wine on my face. Uh, just really, I rushed into that one and it was not the right call. It's the third religion I've converted to this year. I've got to quit falling for stuff I read online. Uh, Warcraft or playing a mop with its own ways. Gee, we have that in live action here. Who needs a still image when you can see it beautifully animated by Russia's number one game animation studio? Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> oh man, Grayson, you've definitely got something coming up. I hope you're ready. I hope you are happy with what you've wrought. Um, because here it comes. A far side cartoon about an orc trapped in jail. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's coming. Uh-oh. Uh I wanted to save it in WebP. Gross. <laughs> Speaking of WebP, how about Thrall? Um, all right, here we go. Desktop. All right, coming in. Here it is, your image, your AI-generated image, everybody. Thank you for sticking with me, viewers. This is a far side cartoon about an orc in jail. Here it comes. Okay. <laughs> I like the one at the bottom, like, they seem to be talking about maybe World War One. Great war. <laughs> I mean, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. <laughs> I want to go? <laughs> Gray War is the new WAP. <laughs> yeah, that is Sergio Argonez, right? Uh, more so. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think this did it, right? Great. This is what you were looking for. In any... Any notes, Grayson? Did you get what you were hoping for is the main thing that I want here. Um, I like how he's wall clipping through the bars, kind of. Like that first one's like an impossible MC Escher image of him in those bars. But there you go. All right. Well, I'll post that in the Discord after I'm done tonight. Everyone, if you're a member of the Discord, drop over there and join. Great place to hang out with fellow people who are amused by pea-soaked mops and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> AI art cartoons. Now here's a question. Why is a pea-soaked mop not a legendary weapon in World of Warcraft? I Riddle me quiet animal. Riddle me piss. Why is it not mm, quiet? Now I get it. Quiet guard is a good joke. He's really out cold. Wow. I keep doing that. No, I guess my juice. Nope. Wow. Goodness gracious. Let's take his dagger. That honestly, to me, looks like a short sword. I think that's doing 1d6, not 1d4. I don't know about y'all. That was like a 1d6 short sword to me, though. He doesn't have anything I need. Crawl's bloodlust beats Paladin Hilly. There you go. All right. Is that Grom Hellscreen? He says. Wanted for crimes against the sovereign lands of the Alliance. Dead or alive. Grom Hellscream and his Warsong clan. Grom Hellscream. He's like me. I gotta find him. Is that. <laughs> is that Grom Hellscream of the Azeroth Hellscreams? Oh, wait. Thank you, Curse Lashay. Eat flag. Good point. Eat coat of arms. That's how you defeat the Alliance. Man! This guy really dislikes his captors. I'm I tattered. don't think so. I don't think so. 
Bro, I love spins, it's special attack. Cheap oh, land a... being sold by the acre. Lord Aran contractors are rushing to the lands of Alterac, where recent government holdings are now up for sale to the public. Low-cost farmlands and room for expansion. Contact Ambassador Paranol. Man, I haven't played World of Warcraft since vanilla, but here, just seeing words that I recognize makes me so deeply happy. Are you interested in a life of mystery and intrigue? Yes. Do you love adventure and excitement? Absolutely. Then come to the fabled kingdom of Dalaran. Daventry, the pursuit say. of knowledge is always a magical journey. Mage caster apprenticeships are available. Sure, I'd love to be a mage Turalian, caster. Alaria Danath. 1,000 gold pieces reward for any information regarding the whereabouts of these people. I mean, these are big lore bits from the series, right? Like, as I remember them, these are pretty significant. Any other cool hot spots? Sekerador. Man, we should just take that giant axe up there. A poison dungeon. There's guards out there. Ah, beans, guards. We hate those guys. Yeah, go ahead. Ding dong. I too like to sleep under a portrait of myself. <laughs> you don't know how well you sleep until you've done it underneath an artist's rendering of your head. How can a man with such a moppy hairdo command such respect? Moppy hairdo, eh? Is that a k -k 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 clue? You know, that's the sort of thing that in year three I may not have noticed, but here in year four. Decaf Jedi year four. Just gets good. This is the year I get good. Use <laughs> chaplet on toilet hole. All puzzles from here on out absolutely involve the P mop. Okay, I guess there's a missing message here. Here that I'm getting something about Morse code. Fuck, did anyone get that? <laughs> uh oh, have I bugged it? It's tied around his neck. <laughs> Prison chaplain. I hate this guy. Yeah. I don't want to wake him up. Alright, let's see if a dagger's the solution here. Yoink! I got your key. Ooh, there's a drawer. I bet the key is on the drawer. I mean, here's the thing. This is a perfectly cromulent or grom hell screamulent adventure game so far, right? Like, there is nothing about this that would have seemed like way out of step in 1997 or 1998. It just kind of feels like an adventure game. You see gloves, not a note in the drawer. Thank you, Living Runs. Great callback to Police Quest 2. Pointing, check, clicking. Best snoring sound effect you've ever. Well, I'll stay in this room for a little bit longer. Can I put on these gloves so that I don't leave fingerprints? Not here. Not here. Oh, I never. I see nothing special. Maybe if I had some salt. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I like the generic responses. Maybe if I had some salt. Nathan, this is a good question. Is the secret of Vulcan's fury lying on a hard drive in someone's uh, garage, too? The person to ask about that would be Sierra composer Ken Allen, who did a lot of the production work for the voices in that game. 
Uh, he is active on social media, and if anyone knows if there's a secret, <laughs> secret version of that lost Star Trek adventure game, it's me. Yeah. I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> Do you think these are book one, two, three, four, five? Okay, so the game isn't completely finished. Hmm. Oh, what we have over here. I was so excited about the snoring sound effect, I missed this nice closet. That looks like a closet. Yes, but would you like to use a modifier, maybe an adjective? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Grayson. God bless you. Let's eat this closet. Maybe if I had some salt. <laughs> Thank you, pickled dog. Hmm, back up road, eh? Nice closet. <laughs> Thank you, Fit. Oh, wow. Look at this. That looks like a closet. Well, I mean, yes. Maybe if I had some salt. You're just gonna leave that uncommented upon. That this man of the cloth has a sexy barbarian red Sonia type figure hidden there. Get <laughs> Charles solved the puzzle solutions get a lot easier, that's right. I mean a lot of this game is just about seasoning. Will Justin and Evil tackle the Resident Evil 4 remake? I don't know. You know, I've thought about it, but um, I haven't decided yet. Justin and Evil is always waiting out there. I kinda got Resident Evil 2 stressed me out in a weird way. The remake, like, I found it was one of those games that, like, I would get done playing it, and I was amped up, like, not in a great way. And I don't know what that was about. So, part of me's like, maybe I am not not tough enough for Resident Evil games anymore. Uh-oh. This has the distinct look of a game about to crash. Let's save. No, I want to do a new one. Bark. I like how Thrall doesn't slip in his own pee. I respect that in a uh, in a war chief. Acknowledge him. There's guards out there. Mm, scary guards. The angry bit no noise is pretty good, right? Zug zug. Zug zug zuggity zug. Zug zug zuggity zoo. Doesn't slip like how spiders don't get caught in their own web. Zug zug. <laughs> oh, pickled dog. Zug zug. Resident Evil 2 Remake was great. I I mean, I love what they've done with it. It's a gorgeous game. It plays really smoothly, but I don't know. Maybe, you know, survival horror is uh, is maybe not my uh, not my go-to thing sometimes. I'm not sure. What other non-adventure game series could make a good point and click? That's a fantastic question. Thank you for asking that, Sheldon. What non adventure game could make a good point and click i mean honestly i feel like anything with a good narrative through line could could make the leap to a point and click pretty effectively like i imagine at some level you could strip tomb raider down to a pretty neat point and click uh what are some other games though that would be better than that i would love to see a point and click based on Bioshock. Like, how fun would a Rapture point-and-click game uh, be? Like, maybe that's the one I want to see. I don't know if it'd make a good one, but I'd kind of like, you know, a uh, maybe a Bioshock. Uh, I, yeah, that's that's going to be my temporary answer. Mega Man could be fun. What, what do y'all think? What, what are some of the picks that you'd go with? 
Because I think there are a million good answers here. If you love point and click adventure games, there probably isn't a wrong There's answer. a mirror in the robe's pocket. Mirror in the pocket. Hey, Ginny Pop, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. All right, now we have a flawless disguise. I'll just stroll right through here. Good evening, Chaplain Mathers. Hey. Hello. It's me, Chaplain Mathers. It's me, Marshall Mathers. That's not gonna happen. Not in a million years. It's just not happening. That's not happening. Hey, Tower Guard. Uh, nah. These guys look kinda edgy. They're edging. Those guys. Chaplain Mathers! No one's allowed past the checkpoint, you know that. Oh, sorry. Uh, I forgot. Um, I didn't know what to do. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, uh -huh. What did I do here? I vaguely remember this. Ooh, a Metroid point and click. Yeah, chaplains look better, right? Uh, let's see here. That stained glass window. Chaplain Mathers! No one's allowed past the checkpoint. You know that. Stained glass. That's strange. It looks like an old wizard in an hourglass. Yeah, I think it's the rock and throw connection again. What the hell was that? We better check it out. We better run over there. We better, we better. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that's actually like part of the solution here. <laughs> here we go. This is great. This is a good puzzle. I'm here for this. This is perfectly cromulent puzzle. Design. This absolutely should have been canceled. This is fine. This is good. Yeah, we're on Looney Tune mode. <laughs> it was Thrall all along, y'all. I don't know if you knew, knew this, but now he's running like a G.I. Joe character. <sighs> Fighting for freedom wherever there's alliance. I don't think I'm being followed, but I better distance myself from that place. Ooh, now this is interesting, Jenny Pop. A good Western point and click adventure. You know, there have been a few attempts at that, um, you know, with like comedy Western, like Freddy Farkas uh, leaps out, but you know, a friend of the stream, uh, Francisco Gonzalez, uh, Grundislav, let me give him a shout out here, uh, is currently working on a uh, point and click Western adventure uh, called Rosewater and frequently streams uh, his work uh, as he develops that game. So, uh, Jimmy Pop, if that's something you're interested in, get over there and follow uh, Grundy. Uh, you'll, uh, you'll, uh, you'll be interested in why he's working on it. He's got a great looking game with a really good voice cast involved. Okay, well here we are out in the out in the wild. But no, I'd love a good western game too. I'm I'm really excited for Rosewater. Oh man, it's from Hellscream again. I see nothing special. Nuh-uh. Nuh uh. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it at this juncture. Wouldn't be prudent. 
Grom Hellscream again? The humans despise him. Who is this orc? I'm gonna get this for my room. I'm gonna hang this up. He's like me. Well, honestly, he looks a little cooler than you. Wanted for crimes against the sovereign lands of the Alliance, Grom Hellscream. It is by decree of the Alliance that orc survivors of the Second War be permitted to live, provided they remain within designated military settlements. Wow. And provided their behavior remain docile and non-threatening to the established order. The Alliance High Command has reason to believe that Hellscream and his volatile Warsong clan have been prompting <laughs> other clans in the region to acts of rebellion and insurrection against the regional wardens of the Alliance. Hellscream is believed to be highly dangerous, and the use of extreme force has been authorized for his arrest. He should be transported, if captured alive, to the nearest military outpost. Reward will be paid upon his return, or with proof of death. Travels West widely. Known whereabouts? Southern Lordaeron. Travels widely. <laughs> How great is the long scroll on that? Like, when it was up on the tree, this didn't look like such a talky poster. But now that we're here, we really know. Stupid sexy hell screen. It's a poster of hell screen. I mean, I can't guarantee. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nah. I do it more toward his facial region. Uh-uh. Uh, it won't do anything. Well, it doesn't have to do anything back. If it's the last thing I do, I'm obsessing, aren't I? Now it's happening. That won't work. I'm positive this won't work. Give it a chance to work out. This just ain't working. Uh, nah. He thinks he doth protest too much. All right, let's keep on walking. Oh man, mega map. So I guess that's the forest path. That appears to be some sort of energy area. That appears to be a goblin zeppelin. And doth the poster become a scroll? We have a poster rolled up in a scroll. Uh, I don't even know the the ontology of something like that. It's got a ruptured beam seal, a soot in a pescalator, a corroded snap gasket. This is gonna need a reshake. This is gonna need a full seven point hemostatic reshake. Ah, oh, where'd I put that blasted samoflange? Where'd I put that blasted samof- Hey, you watch where you're walking. You almost stepped on a very delicate piece of machinery. Well, are you gonna stand there looking stupid or are you gonna pass me that samoflange? Samoflange! Okay, this guy's good. This is a good goblin. Scratching his ass. Thrall doesn't know what to think. We got dialogue trees. I got your samoflange right here, shorty. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I've got your. <laughs> Sam up lands right here, shorty. Are you talking to me? I think I'll just sit here and look stupid. Is this what you want? That's so good. That's so good. Oh, that's having me sign. Well, I mean, again, I'm guessing it's just because it's, uh, Work in progress. Oh, there's the semaphore. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell is a semaflange? Not that your feeble orc mind wow. would understand. But the samoflange is one of the most revolutionary tools ever invented by the goblins. Essentially, 
It's a high-powered drill designed to attach the snap gasket to the Bleem Seal's intake valves. Now leave me alone. Did you build this contraption? Yes, I did. In fact, I built this Zeppelin from scratch. Out of She's one of the finest ships ever built. She flew over ten missions during the Second War. <laughs> well, why isn't she flying now? Well, that's exactly what I've been trying to find out, isn't it? You don't seem to be making much progress. Wow. Not much progress? Well, let's see you figure it out. Maybe that fell off. It looks Sometimes. important. Fell off? Fell off? Nothing just falls off a goblin zeppelin. What? Well, at least it's not one of those Tinker Trap flyers built by the gnomes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about gnomes, goblin. Tell me more about gnomes, goblin. Small, hairy, bloated, and totally incompetent. What else do you need to wow. know? I mean, why do you hate them so much? Because the goblins and the gnomes are at war. We strive to out-invent each other by developing bold new mechanical innovations. But us goblins are way ahead of them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I was on my way to a secret gnomish workshop to steal their latest plans for a revolutionary communication device. But uh, as you can see, I'm uh, having some problems with uh, transportation. Mm. Yeah, this is some fantastic voice I'll work. I'll make a deal with you. Uh... Gaslo. Yeah, uh, Gaslo. Gaslo. I will steal the plans from the gnomes while you fix your zeppelin. Then... Sounds good to me. When do you leave? Then... You will take me wherever I wish to go. Oh. Hmm. All right. If you get the plans from the gnomes, I have to fly you wherever you want to go? Uh, okay. But here, you'll need these. These are fake plans, designed to throw the gnomes off track. Substitute these for the real plans without them noticing. But be careful, they're crafty little buggers. Yeah, wow, yeah. industrial you espionage. better be here when I get back. Whoa, well, I'll be here, I'll be here. Probably still working on this damn machine. <laughs> I think Gazlo is a character from Warcraft, right? Isn't there some sort of Gazlo related thing in World of Warcraft, like, down in that deserty goblin town. It turns out you can say damn in a video game. Oh wow, it's a rotating gig tweaker. A gag twerker. Um, a gag order. Um, let's see here, so. Not here. I can't give him the samaflange? Uh -uh. I guess I can't give him the samaflange. He seemed to really want the samaflange earlier. He was in Heroes of the Storm. Oh, wow. Looks like the bridge has collapsed into the chasm. Yeah, I'm going to agree on that. I, my diagnosis is similar. I think that's probably a collapsed bridge situation. Great call, Thrall. That's my favorite AMC drama. Great call, Thrall. Now that is one grand canyon. Bob Odenkirk is outstanding as Thrall. Uh, you should really watch it. Uh, it, it's now streaming on the uh, on AMC's uh, app. You should just get it where you can. That's <laughs> called Thrall. You wouldn't think Bob Odenkirk would look great in the green paint, but man, he's just got something. Dead orc. 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 He must have been killed during a battle that took place here. Are you sure, though? This could have been natural causes. I'm going to say he died of a broken heart. I bet his partner uh, left him, and uh, and this nice shield. <laughs> broken heart. Apparently, he wasn't very good with it. What? Just dunking on this dead guy. 
moved to a very unfortunate location. I mean, it happens to all of us. Can I not grab that awesome spear? Oh yeah, maybe I can. I mean, I want the spear. It's proven to be deadly. I have his belt. I want this cool, like, Skeletor belt. He must have been killed during a battle that took place here. I don't think he's listening. <laughs> Ooh, tooth necklace. Hmm. Dragon teeth. Yeah. Let's put them in our own mouth. Doesn't look like much of a talker. Oh. Wow. Brawl. Why are you like this? It like a hole. Great place to save. Hey, Goose. No, I mean, exactly. The idea this animation studio worked on those awful, awful CDI games. This one looks really good, right? I mean, it's, it's very well done. Look at the exclamation point. You know, folks, uh, maybe this is a good time during the stream just to take a quick breath. Um, you, know, you know we don't want to play the game for more than like five or ten minutes at a stretch. Uh, that's how you burn yourself out on a game. And we're smarter than that. We don't Smoke need, from a fire. We don't need Someone to, must live to really that. like you know, just overdo it. We're getting good. We're not getting relentless. Uh, but, you know, this is a great time. Uh, you know, as part of year four, it just gets good. You know, it's not just about getting good at games. It's about getting good at streaming. And if we're going to be honest with ourselves, you know, viewership has really plateaued around here. Um, you know, there's just not a lot of growth. Uh, I've, I've run the numbers with Grayson several times. He'll back me up on this. Um, and what I thought maybe we needed moving forward was, I don't know, like a face for the stream, like some sort of uh, like spokesperson. And... What I've come up with is a beloved... Oh, I did miss an earlier rest. I kind of did both of them silently while something was happening in the game, but I'll give another rest. Ah, and a hydrate. I tried to find up, uh, find the like most in-demand spokesperson I could get for uh, the stream. And and I found, I think, the right person. Like, let's degauze here to get ready. Cleanse our palate. And uh, here it is. That's right. It's the Pets.com Sock Puppet. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Decap Jedi's stream. I, I'm I'm the new spokes puppet for for I'm not the I'm not the Pets.com puppet anymore. I am the the Twitch.tv forward slash Decap Jedi puppet. Everyone should get in here and watch this. And if you don't subscribe, I'll bite you. I'm a pit bull. Did you know that? They don't talk about that in the cartoons, but I am. So everyone, I am I am the new spokes puppet. It's me, I, M Michael Ian Black, the Pets.com <laughs> spokes guy doing my classic voice that you all remember from, the, from those cartoons, I mean commercials not cartoons, commercials, for 20 years ago. So enjoy the stream. I, I'm doing this willingly. And that's all for the commercial. Um, so yeah, uh, that's where we're at. Um, <laughs> any questions? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that it wasn't easy. Um, I got uh, Michael Ian Black's hand, and honestly, the state isn't very happy with it. And when I say the state, I don't mean the comedy troupe. I mean, literally, the state of West Virginia is going to press charges because I chopped off Michael Ian Black's hand. <laughs> Gee, Bob, you should have listened to the dog. You've made a huge mistake, but thank you so much. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Thank you. I appreciate the support so much. Uh, we like to keep things as stupid as possible around here. <laughs> <laughs> David Wayne was absolutely fine with it. You know who got most upset, to his credit? Uh, Ken Marino. And a uh, good looking paisan like him. When he's upset, you want to make him happy. 
Fast up that side. It's a switch to full cap. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe there's not enough energy in this. This here stream. Okay. So this feels like another Space Quest puzzle. Yacht's ah! ruining. too close to the beam. Uh, nah. I'll use its tennis racket. Still alive, not Space Quest. Yeah, you know, I, I'm assuming, given some of the stuff we've seen so far, this must be a you can't die game, right? Like, it's giving all the hints of that. I like that one last question marks there. I have to repeat that process. Feels like there's additional security devices. This is the adventure game rule of three. I, I hope it was worth the $700 I paid to license the pets.com sock puppet. Oh man, I'm glad to really get some use out of this guy over the next three weeks that I have him. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe they don't want peddlers. This looks like my welcome mat when my mother in law is coming to visit. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> This looks like my welcome mat when my mother-in-law is mother-in-law, mother-in-law, mother-in-law. <laughs> this looks like my welcome mat when my mother-in-law is coming to visit. There we go. Oh, last orb didn't uh, blow up. Maybe we should collect. Maybe we should ponder the orb. That's a good point. That is definitely a gettable orb, isn't it? It's not fun. Ooh, I don't, Grayson. I don't know if I want pets. Not fun. I don't. Mm, I may let that one uh, stay out there. Skylight. Wow. There's some kind of workshop below with little men running around. <laughs> it's a little man workshop. Little man working, doing their. Little men doing their big, big jobs There's down there. There's some kind of workshop below with little men running around. Yes, that's a good point. We should ponder that orb. Not here. <laughs> Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Well, I think we'll just go in. That's pretty good. That's a good bit. It's a very good bit. Just don't worry about it. Really? That's the solution? Oh, it's gonna melt it! Oh! Glass powder. Both great movies. The glass orb was pounded into a fine powder. Now we're going to walk over it barefoot, dower and style. That's not a good idea. Wow. You got some mustard on that one. Not here. you know about big I don't goblin want to energy stick right there my favorite lotto song no that won't work hmm 
rubbing everything I have on this doesn't seem to be the solution. this <laughs> me raw I just opened up this porta potty oil watch this watch this watch this watch this we're getting ready to stick a banana in the exhaust pipe zug zug yes glass. Something about these cutscenes reminds you of King of the Hill. I can get that. It's got a handful of oil. Use it with what? Well, just use it. Uh Not here. A little of oil. A little of oil. That's not Puddle a good idea. Got all these puddles coming out of my brain. Puddles of moonbeams in my hand. I got all the love, honey, baby, you can stay. No. Is that just all that I need the pedal of? Probably not. Ha! You gnomes think you're so small. <laughs> oh my god, flying pigs. The lightning lamps have never failed us before. It's the one to the welcome mat of annihilation. But fear not. He'll never escape the snaggle bag. The snaggle bag. <laughs> Turns out I have an anti snaggle bag to us. The prisoner has escaped the snaggle bag. I can't believe it. I wove that snaggle bag myself, using only the most durable strands of elven yarn. Oh, that was a mithril net. I want my dagger back. I want my dagger back. Oh no, we prefer that intruders be unarmed when inside the workshop. I'm bringing dagger back. You tiny gnomes don't know how to act. I could have been killed falling through that trap. Yes, we know. It hasn't been working properly. Would you like to try it again? <laughs> the goblins destroyed your machine, and I came to warn you. That's interesting. I could have sworn that I saw you pour sand into it. Yeah, and I didn't see any goblins fall out of the snaggle bag. Uh, hey, Vitaly. I came to borrow a plunger. So, someone's apparently informed you of our plans for the revolutionary horse-powered curvocentric plunger, Doctor. I'm afraid you can't use that right now. If you don't have a plunger, how about a communications device? I'm afraid we don't have a working one of those either. This plunger thopter sure sounds like a goblin invention I heard about. A goblin invention? How dare you insinuate that we would stoop to their incompetent level. The goblins are capable only of inventing high-grade rubbish. Metal, you're a flake to the Warcraft stream because you're playing World of Warcraft. How do you even understand it without uh, an intimate knowledge of this game? So what what are you doing in WoW? Are you playing current WoW? Are you in WoW Classic? Uh, what regions were you exploring? Were you doing dungeons? What's going on in World of Warcraft? <laughs> Back to the endless pig sounds. Ooh, dragon flight. Your design was probably copied from original goblin plans. Wow. Goblin plans? What the goblins have been able to produce. This, imagine if you will, a device that could transmit information over great distances without danger of enemy interception. A device that could send two-way messages through the airwaves mm. without employing roads or wires. Imagine if you will, the homing chicken. Wow, uh... 
What can I possibly say about such a unique device? Yes, I can see that you're speechless in the face of sheer genius. That is one way of looking at it. I eventually had to quit World of Warcraft Cold Turkey. I basically played it all the way through vanilla and was deeply addicted. I basically took an entire year off from working on my dissertation and do nothing but play World of Warcraft morning, noon, and night. I dragged my wife into it. We were part of a guild. It was um, a wonderful and dark time in our lives. Look at this incredible floppy disk. Oh my god, look at this incredible floppy disk. Compact data storage and retrieval system. Oh man, where's food when you need them? I'd rather starve. Uh, whoops. <laughs> That only exists to be a gag. Hey, I've never tasted it, but the prison guards love this stuff. Let's taste it, baby. Mm, get that, Dr. Pepper. This stuff just makes me tired. <laughs> I like how they're just kind of cool with him being down here now. Expert answer relater. Ask any question and receive an unqualified expert response. Hmm. Oh wow, so it's chat GPT, huh? How did the lieutenant get that nasty scar? He was running with scissors. Whose inventions are better, <laughs> the gnomes or the goblins? Yes. Yes. If a horse-drawn carriage leaves Azeroth at dawn and reaches Stromgard at dusk, what is the driver's name? The driver's name is Prodrick. What is my destiny? What is my destiny? Oh, oh beans. I killed that brain. Oh, beans. Oh, beans indeed. Why the flying pigs? An original gnome invention. The rapid automated food delivery service. Concept? Food to go. Tragically, the world may not yet be ready for such radical advancements. Radical. <laughs> See, they invented chat GPT and Uber Eats. I mean, what more do you want? They're too fast to catch. Yes, they're tech entrepreneurs from Silly Gnome Valley. Silly Gnome Valley. Oh, it's right there. They're tech entrepreneurs hey, from Silly Gnome from Valley. He's activated the pixel light packs. We've got to shut the machine down. Don't touch anything. You could have damaged the rapid automated food delivery service. Hope they won't notice it went from a stack of plans to a single plan. <laughs> hey, thank you, Fat. What's on this poster? The gnomes and the goblins are fighting a war over technology. Interesting. Interesting. I'm interested. The gnomes and the goblins are fighting a war over technology. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Adventure capitalist. <laughs> That's very good. War. Crap. War. Crap. Never changes. Hey guys, I just tricked you. They aren't even interactable anymore. That's how you know you solved a puzzle and uh, it made it happen. Huh. The game seems to think there's more to do here with the flying pigs. 
At least my walkthrough that I'm peeking at does. Thank goodness there's a walkthrough. <laughs> Those are the goblins Shatner over each other's ideas. Uh, so flying pigs, huh? There we go. All technosophical staff report immediately. Oh no. We've got a problem. We've been going about this design all wrong. It's all right here in the schematic. Degyrating grommet attaches to the grill guard, not the modulator. Conduit C sense. goes to terminal D, terminal C goes to conduit B. This must be fixed immediately. Come quickly, we have much work to do. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Let's go do this adorable door together. They're too fast to catch. What does it say here, my walkthrough? Pull the fat flying pig. Hmm. They're too fast to catch. You're too fast to catch. They're too fast to catch. Okay, let's get out of this horrible looping pig sound. I don't escape this place anyway. I'm gonna have to ride a pig out of here. I bet this is a classic pig riding situation. This is great. The animation's pretty good in this, though. Alright, we did a little bit of sabotage. Listen, all y'all, this is sabotage. Oh, freedom from the pig sound. Oh, look, Gazlo's got things going. Hey guys, like, what's up? I knew I'd get this old heap running. Did you find those gnomish plans for me? Yep. Here. Yup. Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. This is worse than we realized. This design is brilliant. The homing chicken could easily tip the balance of our war in the gnome's favor. Hey, wait a second. Don't they know that chickens are notorious for being disloyal? <laughs> Their design can never work! Ha! The gnomes undone by the treachery of their own chickens! Hey, that look, classic I don't story. know anything about chickens. Now what about my ride? I need you to take me to Grom Hellscream. Rebellion? Reward? Hey, this orc is trouble. Big trouble. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I'll worry about the risks. You just get me there. Remember, you owe me. All right then, hop in. But if things get dicey, my green goblin butt is out of there. <laughs> Thanks, Norman Osborne. <laughs> Oh wow, here we go. It's on. Let's get moving. You got it. <laughs> Clancy Brown's performance is so good. <laughs> Let's get moving. Here we go. Uh, I guess we'll go to the orc reservation, even though it's spelled like uh, that. <laughs> no Osbone, there you go.
Well, I had an orc reservation. I have reservations about this entire scene, actually. Just like I thought. Empty. Yeah, you know, toward the end, they brought Steve Moretzky of Ithacom fame into this to do like a, a rewrite to try to polish it up at one last attempt at saving it. But from what I understand, most of his changes were not implemented and then they just canceled the project. I think they didn't like what they got from adventure gaming legend Steve uh, Moretzky. Yeah, a lot of this has been incorporated into canon. A lot of it shows up in various forms in World of Warcraft. Uh, in War I guess Warcraft 3 uh, would be after this. Um, later on, Christy Golden adapted this story into a novel called Lord of the Clans. Uh, that's actually a decent novel. Christy Golden uh, also wrote a number of uh, good uh, Star Trek Voyager novels, uh, for that matter. So uh, go grab your copy of Christy Golden's Lord of the Clans uh, today. The bucket's attached to a rusted old chain. Hey, Glar, good to see you. Welcome in. Good evening. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Good Star Trek Voyager <laughs> does not compute. I mean, I get it. I've actually probably watched like not here fewer than 10 episodes of Voyager in my life, but enjoyed a couple of her Voyager novels. You know, you're a real Star Trek nerd when you're like, I don't need to see the show this is based on. I'll just read some of the novels. Yeah, I like to read all the novels that Voyager was based on. Real uh, lit head. People are constantly saying, there goes Jets, he's a real lit head. At least I think that's what they're saying. I hate this. This feels, uh... That orc's not looking so good. Feels pretty problematic. <laughs> he doesn't look so good. Yeah, um, they they came really close to finishing. I mean, this is mostly a complete game with uh, just a few fan weeks to finish out uh -huh. bits of it. But yeah, this is this is some pretty <laughs> awful. Uh, Looks like it used to be a watchtower. Pretty awful stuff right now. Up to this point, the game's been very charming. Let's talk to this guy. Dabu. Uh, Dabu, the Gunka Thrall. What? Uh, I think I said hello. My name's Thrall. Don't you have a name? Uh, oh, I, I thought you were talking to him. Uh, who? What? Are you drunk? Oh, he's a quick one. Dungeon. <laughs> What's that you're drinking? What do you think I'm drinking? Get your own share. This is mine. What did you mean by share? Don't be stupid. You know that we each get a flask of black ale every day. This is my share. Go get your own. Oh, daddy's nerfing day after Tongo. Good to see you. Up to this point, it's been pretty charming. I, I don't love what they're doing here. Are there any orcs who aren't drunk on that vomit? There's a few of them around. Think they're better than the rest of us. Talk about destiny and rallying the horde. Ha! The horde is history. Here's to the future. Where do you get this black ale? Yeah, where do you get this black I ale? I'm telling you, the less orcs in line, the better. You don't look so good. Really? I thought this was one of my better days. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Wow. 
They're all just dunking on people. Are you okay? I will be in a minute. Oh, his flies went away. Uh, there. <laughs> now I'm fine. You're hitting that bottle pretty hard, aren't you? So what if I am? I killed 18 men and a half dozen dwarfs during the war. Oh, that's 24 Follow alliance me. members. We're in a settlement like a tamed animal. This ale's the only thing I got left. You're a warrior. How can you do this to yourself? <laughs> uh, just like this? Uh, You're a mess. Bah! Who do you think you are? Hell scream himself? I aspire to be. Save your judgment for someone who cares. This hell scream. Where is he? Keep it down. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell some stranger. Okay, where's this hell whisper? Maybe I can help. There's nothing to be done, whelp. Why don't you just get yourself a bottle and settle down? Yeah, this is uh, this is a great question, Cregan. This is uh, World of Warcraft classic. Um, you know. You really don't realize how much World of Warcraft has changed since it launched until you go back and play vanilla World of Warcraft, which is what we're doing tonight. So, yeah, you can really just see how far the game's come. Are all the orcs here like this? I don't know. Some have become pitiful wretches who do nothing but drink black ale from dawn till dusk. <laughs> It's hard to believe it started out as a point and uh, click adventure. We'll talk some other I played Galar, I played one and two. Oh, come wow. in, come in. Oh, please feel free to look around. I've got all sorts of exotic goods imported from the islands of Kul Tiras to the flame pits of the Hellfire Peninsula. Oh, Zuljan's rarities are renowned throughout the lands of Lordaeron. <laughs> if you have any questions about the merchandise, just ask me. This guy sounds super familiar. Zuljan also sounds like, or Zuljan sounds like a super familiar name too. Where do I know that from? Uh, World of Warcraft, but yeah, Galara, I played a decent bit of Warcraft 1 and 2. Never got around to 3, but as I was saying earlier, I spent like a good year of my life deeply addicted to World of Warcraft. Leader of the Trolls. So the future war chief of the Horde used to be a junk dealer. Yes, that is what we're finding out, I guess. I think he's been spending too much time alone. Humble beginnings. Tell me about yourself. Well, surely you have heard of the notorious Zuljin. Well... It's true. I am Zuljin, once wow. the fiercest troll ever to flay an elf. It was I who single-handedly like united dress. the trolls and the orcs to wreak havoc and destruction upon the Alliance during the war. But alas, we withered in defeat. So, you want to buy a garden gnome? <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Well, surely right. you've heard oh, no, of the same thing. notorious Zuljin. Well... It's true. I am Zuljin, once the fiercest troll ever to flay an elf. Ooh, red alert. I, who single-handedly united the trolls and the orcs to wreak havoc and destruction upon the Alliance during the war. But alas, we, we wither. Yeah, I don't know if I can skip dialogue. That's dangerous. So you want to buy a garden gnome? Yeah, F Tongle, we don't like that. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Zuljin did fall really hard. Um, I'm pretty sure Warcraft 2 was the first online game I ever played. Um, I used to, during the summer after my freshman year of college, uh, me and my friend JP. Both, I think, had pirated copies of World of Warcraft 2. 
and I would uh, call him via modem, a modem to modem uh, connection, and we would play Warcraft uh, 2 together. I'm new here. What can you tell me about this place? After the Alliance destroyed the second dark portal, they stuck the Orcs and their allies in stinking settlements like this one. Alliance troops guard the settlements, making sure that no one escapes. We live here like animals. Are you interested in velvet paintings by any chance? This character is fantastic. I mean, this game has really great supporting cast so far. Like, Gazlo and Zul'jin have both been out of this world. Where can I find Grom Hellscream? I don't know anyone by that name. Uh, perhaps you'd be interested in a nice lamp? <laughs> I'm going to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by feudalism. Zildrassel! Everybody, uh, get your, uh, get your space emotes in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh man, that may be the best ten bucks I've ever spent on fiber. Is getting the Tim Curry <laughs> space emote for speaking of red alert. <laughs> I mean, you can't argue with the results. It's a very good amount. <laughs> Oh, we have fun here. Um, is that asking this Where already? can I find Grom I I Hellscream? I don't know anyone by that name. Uh, perhaps you'd be interested in a nice lamp? Or clamps for new. I think I get that joke, but as we all know, I haven't played King's Quest VI, so it's hard to say. Uh, how do I buy something? Just show me what you have to trade. And I'll tell you if it's worth anything. You're not the boss of me. I'm just looking. Another dragon tooth necklace. I've had four come in this week already. I want to do business. This is all I can give you. It's from the Shattered Hand Clan, but uh, as you can see, it doesn't merit the... Uh, it doesn't quite go with my collection. Hmm. Is that a... Handsaw... A hacksaw hand. I was gonna say, is that a prosthetic? Elf Skull Lamp looks pretty badass. Let's see what's in this I'm room. told it's the actual skull of an elven ranger. It doubles as a handy lamp. Cregan, this is animated by the same company that animated King's Quest VII. Uh, Animation Magic. Um... So yeah, you're you're right on the money with that. Uh, this is Axel and Duggan. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is right up there. I mean, Animation Magic famously did the CDI Zelda games, which are you know uh, a dark stain upon that franchise. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Thank you. Um, King's Quest Seven, which I love, but honestly, some of the animation, it's a little... Uh, this game looks great. Uh, no complaints here. Oh, that chest set. Ooh, an arcane tone. What's Thank that? You, Priceless. That's what that is. A book of spells used by an authentic ogre mage. You can't afford it. Trust me. Grace, I mean, that's the beauty of this community. I can trust y'all not to drop the Aquaman scream like every 10 seconds. Uh, <laughs> as I was saying, I don't have to worry about y'all dropping the Aquaman scream <laughs> every 10 seconds. <laughs> Because we're all adults here. 
I think probably we can get past the Aquaman stream. <laughs> stream and really focus on this game, which has been really lovely so far. So, <laughs> thank you, Libby Drops. Zug Zug to you all. Zug Zug. <laughs> that can't taste good. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. That's exactly right. Getting rich off of those, uh, ooh, a bloodstained saddle. Zug Zug. Huh? Uh -huh. That once belonged to Lothar, the leader of the Alliance. Uh, that is, before he was mauled by a group of bloodlusted ogres. Lothar of the Hill People? Is that an old Saturday Night Live sketch, or did I just, uh, imagine that? Oh, matching stemware from the Temple of the Damned. If you buy the set, I'll throw in a free spatula. I think I'll pass. Is the Temple of the Damned also the Sunken Temple, or are those two different temples? Does it have the spirit of Hakar in it? I've never seen this clan emblem before. Oh, of course you haven't. That's the banner of the ill-fated Lightning's Blade clan, who never made it to Azeroth. I've heard that their initiation rites were so harsh, few were ever able to pass them. What were these rites? Well, young warriors of Drenor were forced to stand on top of the highest peak of the Blade's Edge Mountains and hold aloft their axes during a thunderstorm. Wow. Only those struck by lightning at least three times could join the clan. Shocking. <laughs> you know, I don't know if these are the same voice actors that uh, that worked on King's Quest. Uh, so, man, you know, it's Clancy Brown as Thrall, but beyond that, I really don't know much else. Oh, sorry, those aren't for sale, but they're marvelous, aren't they? A testament to my deal-making prowess. I got them from the orcs of the Shattered Hand Clan. They wear those things in place of their ruined left hands. They traded their most prized possessions to me for ale money. <laughs> Talk about desperation. <laughs> my collection's almost complete. Why does this garden gnome feel so much like a character from another 90s game. Like, I feel like, is it like a Woodruff and Schnibble vibe? Is that what I'm getting from this character design or am I totally imagining that? Like, that feels very Woodruff and Schnibble uh, to me. Which, if you aren't familiar with those games, probably sounds like I'm having a mild stroke, but I assure you I'm not. Genuine black velvet. <laughs> I'm no expert, but uh, I have an eye for fine art. Who is it? <laughs> the king. I know of them. I mean, honestly, that's about the extent of my I don't want that. knowledge to Garden Gnome. What happened to him? We found him crushed under a very large pig that had a wild-looking device strapped to its back. Oh, no. He had the strangest grin on his face, so I decided to stuff him. Yeah, the strangest grin on his face on the side to stuff him is very good. I don't think he's listening. Mm, I don't think so, Tim. And I'm planter. That cannon is from the deck of an ogre juggernaut. Does it work? Sure, as a flower pot. Okay, I want to walk it back. Earlier, somebody asked what should be made into an adventure game. It should clearly be, uh, it should clearly be, uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor. Not the show Home Improvement, but an in universe video game based upon the adventures of Tim and Al, uh, the hosts of the, uh, <laughs> the Benford Tool Hour or whatever. Tool time, yes, that's that's it. The Benford Tool Hour. <laughs> Let's 
sweet. Wait, I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Oh, no. Or was I? I think I was. We're good. We're going back to Durnhold, everybody. Yeah, once you have a bucket, you're really in... <laughs> you're really in the world of adventure gaming. Uh -huh. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh? Okay. Walk north, it says. Go back to the gnome dungeon. All right. Back to the gnome dungeons, the word on the streets. Walk through says gnome dungeon. Walk through says gnome dungeon. I go. Yeah, I'm going back to Oinkville. It is audio hell. Not the chasm. Weirdly, not the chasm. Or the chasm. Or the crevice or the crevasse. What? <laughs> Got him again. Black poor pig. Look how sad it looks. <laughs> Eh. Oh, it's terrible. It's just terrible. Oh no, this is what we're getting ready to do. Oh no. Imagine flying all the way back here just to get a bucket of ale. So we're getting ready to just go ahead and uh, continue with this problematic puzzle chain. I like Thrall's sandals. I'm going to imagine that those aren't boots, that those are sandals, and he's just wearing black socks. I hope there aren't any complaints with that interpretation of the game. I was once in a play where I had to wear Roman sandals with straps that went up my calves. And uh, during opening night, they dug into my skin so much that uh, I actually bled after I was done. Free carcass. You never know when a rotting carcass might come in handy. Free carcass, y'all. Never pass up a carcass. Ah, we got a wacky little comedy bit. Decent animation, though. This game looks great. And very playable. I would love to know, like, if Warcraft would have gone a different direction had this game been released. Like, would it have come out and people have been like this is what warcraft is about now it's a wacky comedy adventure would i don't know like what does that look like if this game comes out or would it be unsuccessful considering the market for adventure games at the time and as a result like nobody buys it and the warcraft franchise dies before warcraft 3 comes along I mean, surely it couldn't have flopped badly enough to kill Warcraft as popular as the first two were, but I don't know. There's 14 ways to skin a dwarf, skin a dwarf, skin a dwarf. 14 ways to skin a dwarf, and here is number three. <laughs> Wrap his beard around a plank. Give that plank a mighty yank. Heal him right down to his shank, and now there's one more. Hey, who invited him? This is a private party. No strangers join without my say so. Not since those pig rustling gnomes came around. Oh no. This is where they stole their pigs. 
Catch him. Oh, man. If you have something to say, say it. Okay, I will. Let's not get out of here. Hey, Claw Hand, what's up? What about pig wrestling gnomes? The thieving little devils came here last night when we were all passed out cold, napping. They snuck up on our camp, and, and by the time we uh, came around, all but one of our pigs was gone. How do you know it was the gnomes? Mm, the pigs didn't fly out of here, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> What Seems happened rude. to your hands? Are you mocking us? Does this amuse you? I mean, well, no, not really. Of course he's amused. You are members of the Shattered Hand Clan. The fiercest warriors in all of the Horde. A and look what you've done to yourselves. Shall I tell you of our clan? Yes. Zug zug. <laughs> Sorry, let me... Zug zug. Zug zug. Zug zug. Zug zug. Zug zug. Zug zug. Zug what? Oh, 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 okay. The Shattered Hand has an ancient tradition. When a young warrior comes of age, he cripples his own left hand with the hammer of the chieftain. The hand is then replaced with a weapon suited to that warrior's character. In time, the weapon becomes an integral part of each clansman. And would any of you like to tell this orc? What you did with your weapons? I mean, no. I didn't think so. Hey, I'm Zizzy. Welcome. These orcs are very well spoken. You have to respect that. <laughs> Shout out to M. Zizzy. Always a fantastic streamer. Love to drop in uh, over there. Uh, if you enjoy uh, old, obscure DOS stuff, and you know I do, a uh, great stream to check out. Be sure to get over there and drop a follow. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good evening. What's that you're drinking? We were drinking black ale, but we seem to have run dry. No. Well, it just so happens I pre-solved this ah, puzzle. Flat. Potent stuff. Enough of this dribble. Who wants to sing another song? Oh, I want to hear another song. I want to sing. There's <laughs> nothing left to drink. No. Oh. Okay, I've got this bucket. I'd give my left hand for some more ale. You already did! Uh, the politics this? of this game are really something else. More black ale! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this stranger would help his brothers out? No. Never mind them. Come join us. Eat, drink. He's got a little pony keg here. He's good. Join us. Yes. Zug zug. All we need is a good game. What game? No. Oh, the ground this leg of me. So we did all that to distract them long enough to get some meat. But we did it, and that's what really matters. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. You have your ale. Why the low spirits? Ha! Get it? Ale is good, but what this party needs is a good game. <laughs> this free pig grab that pig grab that pig they've only got one pig left mm, I'm no pig rustler <laughs> I'm no pig rustler sure I'll walk around with a urine soaked mop and use it to solve problems and then put it on my head but I'm no pig rustler what do you take me for Oh man, look at that ogre. 
Hey, ogre. Oh, dear mouth. Yeah, M. Zizzy, earlier, we definitely solved one of the first puzzles in the game by taking him up and, like, swirling it around in a prison latrine and then using it to wet down a floor in a dungeon so a guard would slip on it. Now, shut up so I can think. A six seven, yep. Definite ogre mage vibes here. Look at you! Look at me sitting here, bored out of my mind, while I should be practicing my magic. But no, you had to trade my spellbook to the troll for a leg of wormy meat. Were they? But tasty. Uh huh. Well, your little snack just cost me a lifetime's worth of study. Because of you, I'll never reach the oh, level wow. of mastery attained by Cho'Gal. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I did. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, just if you wouldn't mind in the chat. Uh, ones, if you think you would be the smart ogre in a two-headed ogre combo. Twos, if you think that you would be the less smart head in the ogre combo. And three, if you don't believe ogres are real. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'd love to see, uh, love to see your thoughts in the chat. Okay, we're seeing some twos, we're seeing some threes. He loves that mate. Hey, what are you doing? He's can't resist it. Go there. Hey. Be the mysterious beamer they're cheering on. There you go. It me. It's the hungry boy. Zwink. My cards! Get back here! I just stole his magic the gathering cards. Nerd. I should say. But this game is bound to crash at any moment. When you're playing a good unreleased game like this. Uh, danger lurks around every corner. Not a pig wrestler, but we absolutely will steal cards from somebody. Here you go. Here's a good game. Uh. uh. Cards. Ah. Oh, I'm cards against humanity. <laughs> But first, let's talk about price. What are these worth to you? Gotta get trade. What? What are you staring at? No, don't even think about it. No, no! <laughs> this will do. Oh. Let the games begin! Right. Now who's gonna shuffle? Wow, I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah, actually, Pickle Dog, yeah. Cards Against Humanity would be a popular game around here, I think. Cards Against Humanity, Cards Against the Night Elves, Cards Against the Dwarves. Hey, hey, Matthew. Thank you so much for uh, for the resub. Yeah, we were talking earlier about Steve Moretzky doing a uh, rewrite on portions of this. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome in. Okay. Hey, Zuljan. I've got a uh, sweet claw hand. Where? Where did you... How did you... Uh... I'll give you anything in the store for it. Mm. Mine. Mine at last. 
Oh, go ahead. Take anything. Anything you want. Go on. Take everything. Take everything. I want you to. When Throg gets what he wants, then he never wants it again. Hey, glad you're uh, glad you're here. Yeah, this is one I've been curious about forever. I was mentioning earlier in the stream. I tried to stream this ages and ages ago and ran into so many technical problems I gave up. And it's good to return to it finally and get a sense of what it's all about. Yeah, having it all stitched back together. I mean, mostly already together, but then having fans do that little bit of work to, to pull it the rest of the way into a more or less complete game. Just fantastic. Hey, I got your book back. So glad we get to play. This is such a fascinating bit of gaming history. Please return my cards or die in agony. I choose I'm neither. Spell book to you, but in exchange for it, I want to speak with Hellscream. My spell book. You've done a great service by returning this to me, but there's still no Hellscream here. Now be gone before I disintegrate you! Hey, we could trade that for more food. Used to be a vegan, but pretty soon you're going to be gone. Ooh, the Eye of Kilrog spell. Oh, I know that spell. Johanna, Graha, Nock. Gross. Oh. Aha, the Gridded Rune spell. There's nothing quite like blasting unsuspecting humans into tiny bits. True. Gothgara Nals and Wow, a rune. <laughs> if you think returning what's rightfully mine makes you welcome here, you're wrong. Oh, I please. warned you before. Now feel the wrath of Magrath. I don't want for the rat. Oh no. Ah, oh, beans. Run away. Run away. Oh, you can't get me from out here. Hey, guys. Zahana! Graka! I don't think he's in the mood to talk right now. I do not remember how the rune spell works. back we'll tempt our friend uh the hungry boy i think that will end this chapter very exciting okay that sound effect's good right it's like got some hanna barbera vibes to it Yes, put some meat over here. Oh no. Oh no, he sees it. No, no, don't do it. Don't walk there! I just cast him! Thrall's classic catchphrase, damn, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I like this kind of animation too. I I mean, I liked it a lot in Curse of Monkey Island. It reminds me, this game reminds me a bit of that. I'm a King's Quest Seven liker. Oh, wow. So, you've gone past old Mugroth, huh? Impressive! 
Now just one more thing before your blood paints these walls. Who are you? My name would mean nothing to you. But yours means much to me. Hellscream. <laughs> <laughs> and you've come to claim the reward. I like your spirit, Well, Perhaps I'll give you an honorable death instead of just throwing you to the pit worms. Lothar! <laughs> Wait! I didn't come to fight. I came to talk. I know much what about the Pokey Chance. I'll hear him out. out. <laughs> and in all that time, you never saw another orc? Never. I have sworn to make the humans pay for what they have done to me. Your need for vengeance makes you strong. I wish the rest of the Horde had that kind of spirit. Loathe the weakness and apathy that has infected the clan since the war. I have seen this too. It grieves me deeply. I will allow it no longer. The Horde will be a force of war once again, or I will die making it so. I'd like to help you if I can. Then you shall, young brother. Mm. Join us tonight at the Fire Circle. We call ourselves the Warsong Clan. Warsong? Why? Yeah, because we get down. Anyone else who wants to drink that poison? How can we be powerful if we pour weakness into our own bodies? I have news. The Frostwolf clan has agreed to join its forces with ours. Ooh. We will unite at the next dark moon, and our first priority will be to put a stop to Rend and Maim. Uh, Rend and Maim? Two Orc brothers who are in league with the humans. They are mm. sabotaging the Horde in exchange for Sabotage. money and favors. We need to learn more about their methods and cross them. So tonight, we raise our clan banners together! They're clanners. Song and Frostwolf! <laughs> Brawl Labs. Destiny has brought you to us, and now it takes you away. I have told you where the Frost Wolves dwell. Go then, brother, and learn what you can of your past. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you can see that that cutscene wasn't entirely complete, right? Hey, Gazlo. <laughs> This is close enough for me. The Zeppelin should be safe here for a while. I'll wait for you. It just doesn't make any sense, Chris Lachey. Why wouldn't you finish all the early parts of the game first, completely, and then move on to the later parts of the game when creating it? <laughs> Why wouldn't you record all the dialogue from the first act and do all the animation and everything else, and once it's completely finished, move on to the next? Isn't that how game development works? Okay, so I want to do one more thing before we go because I vaguely remember this from the last time we played and it was fantastic great. So let's see if this works. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get ready. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa! Yes, oh, yes, I yes, can yes, see yes. my house! I can see my house! <laughs> zug, zug. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to need to see that one more time, I think. I got to reload that, and then we're going to call it a night. But we have to see that once more. Wow, that's upsetting. Um, here we go. <laughs> Listen closely. 
as Grom says, I can see my house. I'm sorry, not Grom. Thrall says, I can see my house. Because it's unbelievable this is in the game. You're not going to do it? You chicken? There we go. This is so good. Whoa! Whoa, I can see my house! <laughs> oh my god! It's just too good! It's just too good! <laughs> we are gonna to top that tonight. We have to stop there. <laughs> Mouse. Yeah, that also give us a chance to do that to kick off the stream next time. <laughs> expect to see, expect to see a YouTube short of that soon as well. Because I want to make sure as many people see that moment as uh, as humanly possible. But for now, we should pause here. This is the perfect place to uh, to stop for the evening. Thank you all so much for joining me. I am so hyped to be playing this game. I'm having a blast with it. Glad to see uh, that all of you could make it too. Especially thanks for the folks who showed up for the first time tonight. Uh, always a pleasure to see new people in the chat and uh, just get to share these fun, weird games with y'all. So now the question is, what's next? What's next is we are going to raid, and I think we're going to raid over uh, to Tawija, who is playing one of our favorite games. Gabriel Knight to the Beast Within tonight. So we definitely want to get over there and see that. Thank you everybody for hanging out. It's been a real pleasure. I uh, hope you had a good time, as much fun as I did. And uh, I'll see you again soon. I think that uh, there's a chance I may try stream tomorrow night. Uh, best way to keep up to date on that stuff though, uh, follow me on Twitter, Decap Jedi, while Twitter still exists. Uh, you can jump in the Discord. There's a link down there. I'm glad you could be here too, Galar. It's always a pleasure. Uh, <laughs> glad everybody could be here. Thank you so much. Let's get that raid started. I'll see you on the other side of it, and I hope everybody has a good evening. Take care, y'all.